Hi, I'm Warrior. It's Trab Senior, and welcome back to the Road to the Lich King. Last episode, we started our first ever Nax Ramus Wrath of the Lich King GDKP run. And I think uh, the total pot right now is over 30k, 30,900 at the moment. We've gone through three wings so far. Plague Quarter, Construct Quarter, and the Nerubian one. I believe it's called, or Spider Quarter, whatever you want to call it. Now we're in Military Quarter. And then we can go defeat Sif Saffron and Kel'Thuzad. Interested to see how much gold is going to uh, come out out of this. And I'm not too sure what the split is. Kind of forgot what the split is, to be honest. Usually the people who set it up get the highest split. It's a good way of making gold, too, like if you set these up and do all the, you know, payout work and stuff. Probably would have to be like a tank or a healer to do that. Usually tanks get a pretty good payout, too, healers as well. I don't expect our payout to be too high. Let's see what we get. I think it'll be over a thousand gold. Let's see. Yeah, it's been a pretty clean run so far. No wipes. I haven't died once yet, which is nice. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself there. <laughs> Let's see if anything sold for a lot. We had one item, this wand sold for like 10k. That's a decent amount of coin. I think the item that I seen that sold for the most ever in a GDKP was when I was uh, playing TBC. I think I was healing on, on Flight Carrier, actually, in uh, Black Temple, and a glaive dropped. One glaive. And it sold for, I think, 80k gold. Insane amount of most gold I've ever seen spent on an item. Ice, Ice Crown Citadel GDKPs are going to be expensive too because of the Shadowmorn materials, so they're going to sell for a lot. But I probably won't do those because uh, I'll be raiding on like on my my main guild. I'll put the get my guild right, so I don't really plan on getting an alt going to raid. That's too much, too much raiding in Wrath of Lich King. So I probably won't take part in those, but whoever does, they're going to make a lot of gold. A lot of this stuff's just selling for 500 gold. We're at 32,000 right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Show them no mercy! You should have stayed as a white students. We don't want to AoE. Avoid AoE. I think we're gonna fall. I don't think so. 
The tanks ahead by 10% behind the tank on threat. You disappoint me, students. Second on threat. So that's, what, that's what happens eventually. <laughs> I can't believe we were that high up. There we go. I jinxed myself, guys. <laughs> that sucks. It is what it is. That's kind of funny, though. They're like, yeah, I haven't died yet. Vesuvius just chops my head off clean. Should have been in melee to help the tank out a bit. Took the, took one for the team there. It's kind of rough. I'm just getting warmed up. And that is what it is. See what happens at the end of this. See what drops. An honorable. What if there still will be? Uh, Like these types of GDKPs, like Nax Ramos GDKPs, when the next phase comes out, because you're going to be able to get 10 man Oldar loot from the Heroic Plus Plus dungeons. So, these pro you probably won't see too many of these like Nax runs anymore. So, it's nice to get at least one more in before the next phase. I think everything will just be Oldar. You'll see a lot of Oldar next phase. Which is fun, because Uldar is a cool raid. I, I, I'm down to do a bunch of Uldar. It's a fun raid. I really, it, I can see why people say it's like one of the, the best raids in the game. A lot of bosses, I think, are kind of cool in that raid. Avalon was a cool fight. It's probably like one of the coolest looking bosses in... Uh, all of uh hold on the Oxaron's pretty cool too I like that fight all the keeper fights I like as well Yeah, I forgot what uh, drop. Bindings of the Expansive Mind. Two nice bindings. I don't need the hit, though. No one's buying it, either. I wonder why. It's for decent bindings. Decent bracers.
Chains of Adoration dropped again. Sand of Sandworm Sandworn Band dropped. Tank them now. Bracers of Unholy of the Unholy Knight tanking the Bracers. And Idol of the Shooting Star. I really need that and get got it. Best in slot, uh... Say that's like the a best in slot. That is the best in slot idol. The first idol. kill goes to me. Anyone care to wager? The gold we get, I'm probably going to buy a bunch of potions of speed, like a, a ton of them. And some bombs. So I'm going to buy with my, with the gold we get. It depends on how much we get. A thousand gold's not a lot though, you can spend it pretty quick. Gotta really hope that we get some big items off of Kel'Thuzad, Malagos, and uh, Sartharian. What's his name, right? Yeah, Sartharian. Uldar is going to be. Uh, a GDKP, they probably a lot of gold. You can make a lot of gold for sure. It's a lot of bosses in that raid. Same with this one. Max has a bunch. Max probably has the most. Holder has a lot though. You have fought hard to invade the realm of the monster. Oh, we can get a little fish feast here. Can't eat it now, though. Damn it. Missed out on that. Try to... Hopefully it stays up for the end. Hopefully it doesn't disappear. <laughs> Take a bite of it after the fight. This is the fight I probably dislike the most in the entire raid. Gothic the Harvester. It's just a lot of trash. And you gotta just sit here. A lot of RP. That's hilarious. These, like, warlocks are all draining his mana. Notice how you see this. They're all draining his mana. He's actually losing quite a bit. He's going to have no mana when he comes down. <laughs> That's funny. Is a priest getting in there? There we go. We got a shadow priest getting in on this. Look at that. Let's see what his mana's at. Oh, it's pretty much half mana now. He's gonna come down no mana. Just gonna be white hitting.
Let's see where his man is at now. Quarter left. Be out of mana pretty soon. Check after this. Yeah, he's almost in. <laughs> no, that actually works. It's how ridiculous this fight is. The warlocks don't even have to do damage. They can just drain mana the entire time. there. That's good. Should be down pretty soon with no mana. The tank gets some, some threat here. Ron. I have waited long enough. There he is. Now you face the harvester of souls. I don't think we're getting lost. Getting lost. A little late, but we're getting it. What did he drop? Librem of Resurgence. Dying Curse. That's a big item right there. That's going to sell for a lot. It's good we got one of those. That's big go money right there. Invaders, cease this foolish venture at once. Turn away while you still can. Come, Zen. Look at that. Already 7,000 gold, 9,000 gold, 10,000 gold already. Yeah, 15,000, 17,000, 20,000, 22,000. We're gonna get two. 25,000. 26,000. So Warlock's gonna pay 26,000 for that. 27,000. 28,000. That's insane. 29,000 now for the Dying Curse. Now it's selling for like 100 gold, 100 bucks American. Like I bought that. There you go. 29,000. Went to uh, lead. I forget his name. Lead piped. Twenty nine thousand gold, dude. That's brutal. That's a lot of gold. Can't believe I got that for free. A hundred gold. That's crazy. What's the pot at now? Pots at 61k right there. Insane. Might get to a 100k pot maybe. 
That's the, that's the item you want to see drop. That's the item like a lot of people want. Yeah, that's crazy. Those guys are. Don't attack me, bro. Leave me alone. Let's see, see. Everybody get in so we don't pull this trash. Uh, I forgot about the food. I think the food disappeared. Looks like they're going to do 3 1. Hopefully, we can pull that off. The pugs I'm in usually struggle with 3 1. We'll see what it is. I think they'll mark the targets, right? Hopefully. Yeah, this server's full of, like, this gambling stuff. People are gambling in raids. There's actually, like, a, a poker. It's like a poker, a poker, like, Discord, where players on the server can, like, hang out in Ogremar and, like, play poker. Not in the game, but they go on, like, our external website and then play for gold. I always thought they should, like, since they're, they're having the token, might as well just have, because they like, probably Turn can't do that, it's against the wall. If they were selling WoW token, and then they had like in a casino in Ogremar. <laughs> Could you imagine that? There's like a casino in Ogremar, people are buying WoW tokens <laughs> to play poker and blackjack. Bunch of goblin dealers, dealing out the cards. That'd be hilarious. That'd be so extreme. I think people would like s snap at Blizzard if they did that. Slot machines. Okay, so this is the one that's going down first. We're doing Blamo first. That's interesting. Let's see how this goes. I think that's the way it's supposed to go, right? Baron Rivendare. Thane Korthaz. I thought he was the first one. Maybe they just... Maybe he just gets blown up. Really fast. And then we get Thane. Because usually I think Thane goes down first, right? I don't think it's good to cleave. We're going to be doing a little AoE though. But I'm not going to be using Hurricane. That's, that's griefing if I did that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Try to get a nice little pre-pot here. Four, Should we just three, not? Two, yeah, one. Pre -pot, so, okay, here we go. Good. Oh, 
bumping, dude. You better watch out, though. I get killed by a Mo here. All right, tank, pick it up. Who's next? Almost full threat there. Am I standing in that? Oh, man, this is rough. Gotta get this guy down quick. Let's speed pot up soon. Stack high. Oh man, we have four marks. I don't think we can pull this off. Get him down. Come on. Stack high. Oh, we got it, man. Oh, I hate three one. Should I move? I think so. I might have to run. Okay, gotta go to the other side. I'm just gonna die, man. Not into dying. I don't know, like, this thing's gonna kill us. I dropped my stacks. Look how he's dead. Kill this thing. <laughs> I was going to die to the dots. Just seven stacks of marker ribbon there. And that was close. Stack high. Oh, people are dying, dude. That's hilarious. That's why 3 1's not good. In GDKP, Stack I would high. do 2 2. Because it's just easier. And you won't wipe. Alright, here we go. Military quarter down. Interested to see what loot dropped. Eventually, see. Now it's Saffron time, guys. Okay, Armageddon dropped. Nice sword for, uh... Two-handed sword. Physical DPS. Mantle of the Corrupted. Nice shoulders for... Cloth-wearing spellcasters. Breastplate of the Lost Vanquisher. And Breastplate of the Lost Protector. And then Broken Promise dropped. Which is a tanking sword. Buffed up here and died. This guy's asking for a feast. I'll take some of that. Just don't pull saffron. Thousand gold for Armageddon. I don't. The cool thing about hardcore, I don't think there will be GDKPs in hardcore because who the heck is gonna? be like, yeah, I'm going to risk my character and carry some other players that can just, like, you know, totally wipe, kill my character at any moment. <laughs> There's no chance anybody's doing GDKP's hardcore. No way. I would never do one. You die once, it's over. Like, who cares, right? Like, I'm not going to lose my character to make a little bit of gold. Yeah, that's why hardcore is cool. It's a cool thing about hardcore. There might be like uh, dungeon carries though. I could see that. But that that's dangerous too. Fifteen hundred gold for the. Vanquish your breastplate. Chest. Are everybody Five, buffed? Four, three, two, one. There we go. Saf time, guys. Let's get him down. I 
hate this boss. For some reason, you can't, like... You can't, like, drop my... my trents. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Try after this. I always wonder, like, why it does that. There we go. It's about damn time they allowed me to put them down. Oh, nice. We got ice bullets, so we don't have to run. Find shelter. Is everybody just ha hanging out behind me here? Thinking they're all safe. actually better if there's less people in the rigs. Less people to, you know, split the gold out to, I guess. Guy who else is getting it? Oh, he's right beside us. Find shelter. I went a little early, I think. Why is he moving behind me? <laughs> I think you want to be spread out, don't you? Alright, we got Sap down. The 100 Club, whatever that is, defeat Saffron and Xramus without any member of the raid. Having a frost resist value over a hundred. Bandit Signia. I thought that was another uh, dying curse. So the key drop, the quest items. I wonder what that'll sell for. Nice neck from that. Soul of the Dead. Proves crit strike rating by 95. It's pretty nice, actually. Nice trinket. Caster. Plate Helm of the Great Worm. What is this? Nice uh, tanky helmet. Bandit's Exignia. Physical DPS not trinket. Must not fall. Leg Guards of the Bone. Yard. Nice leather legs, I guess. Like a Boomkin. Rustor Druid. Extracting Necromatic Power. Extract of Necromantic Power. It's like a caster trinket. Everything's selling pretty quick here. Bandit Exceedia is selling. Got it to 2k gold, not bad. 2500, again, got some okay items here. We'll see 3k. Remember in the in my guild we did, we used to 
there's a bag, like a nice 22 slot bag, I think, that drops off of uh, Nixia. And this guy in our guild would do like <laughs> we would sell gold, we'd sell for sell for gold to help with like you know just guild supplies and stuff like that. And this guy was like pretty damn good at doing uh, like an auctioneer voice, <laughs> like. <laughs> Da 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 five hundred da 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 <laughs> I'm terrible at it, I can never do it, but it was pretty funny listening to that every uh, week. Let's see what the what's the bag's called again. There's a Nixie's lair. Yeah there it is, Nixie hide backpack, yeah, 18 slot peg. Best bag in classic. Well here we go, Keltazod guys, they took a little break. And now we are on the final boss in Nax. We'll see what drops off of him. Hopefully it's some nice loot. How does that one's attacking these guys? Just letting them run in. The ones that really matter are the a bombs anyways, the abominations. For some reason I think like people are still AFK. <laughs> They're just like not here for this part. It's kind of smart. I would AFK too. Thousand gold for the quest item. The uh, roll key, the focusing iris so far, level 100. This is bad, dude. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Be okay. That quest item went for fifteen hundred gold, not bad. Broken promise going for a thousand. Looks like we are officially at a 70k Nax bot so far. Pretty good bot. Not too bad. Broken promise is sold for a thousand. Exodus. No one wants it. I think right now people are saving for like the big ticket items. What the heck, dude? Did it, we hold a bunch of stuff. Oh, is he up? Let's get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of the trash. Watch your step. Okay. There we go. 
don't think they use lust yet. Your team. Is he gonna lust? There's lust. Oh, wait though. Heal team. Cross blast on me. Oh, dark skin. Died yet. I'm gonna clone this guy. Watch your step. Yeah. I'm gonna miss out on the lust. I'm gonna clone again. Could be out soon. I don't have to clone again. Do I? Good. I missed out on a decent amount of that bloodlust. Watch your step. Heal team. I die again? I'll oh, be resident. Watch your step. Seven seconds until heal team. So we got a uh, beta. We're gonna run out of mana pretty soon. Damn, this guy's just casting. Cycle. Your step. Oh, we got our big back. Beauty. We get this down. Everybody's up. Watch your step. You know. Close. Watch your step. T down. One shot every boss. Let's see what drops. Calamity's Grass, Last Laugh. Well, not really good stuff. And then two Vanquisher and a Protector Helmet. Not the greatest loot. Calamity's Grasp. It's a fist weapon. Pretty nice fist weapon. But I don't think it'll sell for much. But yeah, guys, I think we will call this episode here. Maybe. And uh, next episode, we'll, you know, check out Eye of Eternity and Obsidian Sanctum. And then we'll see what the payout is at the end. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.